Hello and welcome to your base buzz. We start this week off with a look back at our Bay East inaugural from last weekend. The president's gavel was officially passed when President Doreen Roberts handed over the reins to our 2013 president, Craig Ragg. In addition, there were a handful of awards presented to a few of our members, including 2013 CAR President Don Fott for the Outstanding Leader Award and the Realtor of the Year Award. Uh, Stephen Ornelas won this year's John Diedrich Award. Now, this award is handed out to one Bay East member who exemplifies the self-sacrifice, vision, and accomplishments of our greatest leaders who have shaped the real estate profession. And pictured in this group photo are other award recipients, including Rick Benitez, who won Affiliate of the Year, uh, Sarah Mestiz took home honors for Rookie of the Year, and Georgia Butterfield was given the Good Neighbor of the Year Award for her Adopt an Angel efforts. Okay, on to some political news. CAR is sponsoring a bill to help underwater homeowners get much needed financial relief. Uh, Senate Bill 30 helps California homeowners on the brink of foreclosure with debt relief. Uh, Bay East Public Affairs Director uh, David Stark has the details. If a home buyer goes through a short sale or a foreclosure and the bank forgives some of the outstanding balance on their mortgage, there's an IRS provision in the tax code that says that that forgiven amount of debt could be considered income when they're filing their income taxes, which is a big deal. I mean, imagine going through a short sale, and then the IRS says, hey, you made a bunch of money because the, the, the bank forgave some of your debt. Well, there's been an exemption to that tax requirement for the last several years. That exemption expired on January 1st. Well, part of this whole fiscal cliff resolution that Congress passed extended protection against treating mortgage debt forgiveness as income. That's on the federal side. The state also had an exemption that also expired on January 1st. And there's a bill in Sacramento right now, SB 30, that would extend the protection so that when you're filing your California income tax, if you went through a short sale or foreclosure, that written off mortgage amount wouldn't be considered as income against your tax liability. Now it's just a bill, it hasn't been passed yet. The federal protection, they have been extended, but the state protection hasn't been extended yet, and that's something we're gonna be watching in Sacramento. If you have any more questions or would like more information on Senate Bill 30, please email David Stark at davids at bayeast.org. Also, make sure to check out December market statistics. They're conveniently located on our Bay East homepage. Uh, just click on the link. And each city's statistics are broken down. And that's a look at your Bay East buzz. Have a great week.